I know that there's a relationship between Maxi on Solar Technologies and Sun Power Corporation. Uh, I believe that that Maxion actually uh, manufactured the Sun Power uh, solar panels at, at one point. Tell us a little bit more about what that relationship is between the two companies. Yeah, good question. Um, it comes up a lot, as you might imagine. So uh, Maxion and Sun Power actually used to be the same company. For most of our history, we were one company. Um, so. The company was founded as SunPower in the Bay Area in uh, 1987, I believe. Uh, and up until uh, a couple of years ago, operated as a, a single international entity that encompassed manufacturing and downstream. So sales, financing, all that kind of stuff. So a couple of years ago, uh, Maxion and SunPower split into two separate companies. Maxion being sort of the international arm and taking all of the manufacturing and R&D with it and Sun Power here in the U.S. being really focused on growing their downstream business. So B2B as well as B2C. So since that split, we have supplied Maxion, excuse me, we've supplied Sun Power uh, with their M-series modules. And we continue to do that today and um, recently signed a, a multi-year deal with them. However, uh, we've also re-entered the market here as Maxion to access a, a different set of customers. So we are selling today uh, a DC panel. We'll talk a little bit about what that means here in, in just a bit. Um, and we're selling it through distribution. Um, it's a very different play from the one that SunPower is running. Uh, it's a bit simpler, a little bit more flexible, uh, and comes with uh, a significantly lower level of um, support and sort of requirements uh, from like a marketing standpoint, branding standpoint. So it's for a, a different type of, of customer. Um, and we've been doing that on our own as Maxion here in the U.S. since the beginning of the year this year. So as we get into that a little bit more, what are some of the main advantages of Maxion solar uh, panels over other brands in the market? So there are many. Uh, but I think to simply break it down uh, as best I can here, I would break it into, you know, it, it essentially comes down to aesthetics, performance, uh, and, you know, what I would call peace of mind. So we make um, a proprietary technology called IBC. That stands for interdigitated back contact. Uh, and that just describes the architecture of our cells. No one else is making an IBC cell. Um, and what that does, that proprietary cell technology, is it, it gives us um, advantages in each one of the areas that I just mentioned. So aesthetics, um, there are no lines on the front of the modules. If you've ever looked at a solar module or a picture of one, you've almost certainly seen some silvery kind of metallic looking lines on the front of the module. Um, ours do not have those, and that gives us a couple of advantages. You know, one, uh, it mitigates uh, any sort of um, hard shading that would be put on the front of the cells uh, by way of the, the fundamental cell structure. Meaning, without having anything on the front of the cells except for the actual silicon material, we can capture more sunlight and turn that sunlight into more energy that can be used in the home. Uh, and it also makes them look better. Um, because they are the highest efficiency modules available on the market, and that means uh, they produce the most energy in the smallest space. Uh, we can also build uh, aesthetically pleasing arrays by uh, either installing fewer panels and therefore maybe staying off a particular roof plane or side of the house that the customers don't want uh, a module to be on. Um, and we could do that with a, we could provide the same amount of energy or more with a smaller number of panels than most of our competitors because we are such a high efficient product. And can you talk a little bit about Maxion panel performance in, you know, in different environments or, or real world conditions, whether that's maybe some cloudy days or some shade that they might have on their roof or, or you know, like you said, there, there might be different configurations that, that people are able to put on their roof. Those real world conditions really kind of make a difference sometimes. What, uh, you know, how does, how does Maxion stand up when it comes to that sort of thing? Yes, yeah, great question. Because we've been doing this for so long and have sort of fundamentally built versions of uh, the same technology for our entire existence. We have a lot of real world data uh, to pull you know, sort of the answer to your question from uh, that a lot of our uh, competitors do not have. 
Um, so for example, there is a study that was done, uh, it was completed in 2018, I believe. It's called the Jordan Study. Uh, it was done in conjunction with NREL, which is the National Renewable Energy Lab out of Boulder, Colorado. It's a division of the uh, Department of Energy. And that study showed that our uh, real world degradation, which is you know, how, how much the panels produce less each year that they're in operation, uh, was at about 0.019%, uh, which is by far the lowest in the industry. Uh, and this was measured over a number of sites, um, you know, a couple hundred thousand panels, uh, lots of different locations across the U.S. Uh, so it's, it's true out of the lab, you know, out of the spec sheet, real world performance. In terms of, you know, how we do specifically in shade or heat or on cloudy days. So I mentioned our, our broad spectral response earlier. And again, that means the panels are able to produce energy from less sunlight than our competitors. So again, uh, on cloudy days or earlier in the morning, later at night. And for the homeowner, that just means that you get more of, of what you pay for, essentially. Uh, we like to talk in watts and, and cost per watt a lot uh, in this industry. And I think that that does the customer a bit of a disservice at times because what the customer is really buying is, uh, you know, the investment is in kilowatt hours. That's what they actually use in their home, right? And so our broader spectral response, um, which is, you know, comes from that uh, proprietary IBC cell technology, uh, allows the panels to produce energy earlier in the morning, later in the evening, and uh, on cloudy days, which again, just gives the homeowner more of what they pay for. Brian, on, on your end at Solaris Renewables, can you give us some feedback and, and, and maybe some stories from customers who have used Maxi on solar panels and you know what, what they think of it and what, what you've seen you know, in, in the real world, as, as it were, you know, where you're actually installing them on people's houses? It's, uh, it, it, it really outlines it and in, in a, easy to understand way as well. Cause we have these conversations with customers every day. And when you're, <clears throat> you know, boiling down temperature coefficients really like, Hey, it's, it's going to produce better in all conditions. Right. So um, but I think at the end, you know, I, I know uh, no pun intended, but at a glance, you know, customers are looking for their system to perform well, but really they want it to look well and they want it to look great. And um, that's really where Maxion shines at the initial glance. They don't know, right. They're, they're making a decision um for the next you know 40 plus years and but the first thing they know is what's it going to look like on their roof and then th that's what they see and then and then they start to understand over time as they own the system um how that how that system's performing with them so i think what we find is that our our top referral base are customers with 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 maxion panels and, and that that cell technology on their roof um we have, you know, virtually no service calls. I mean, we those systems obviously have electronics attached to them, and that's generally where we see um, more of the service from. Uh, we've never had to replace any any panels with, with Maxion cells on them. I mean, it speaks to what uh, Spencer was talking about with that with that failure rate, you know, fifty parts per million or better. Um, so the the warranty as well. We haven't had the we really haven't had to deal with it to be honest, but what's great is that customers are happy, right? And so I can speak for myself. Um, I have that, those, those, uh, the panels with that cell technology on my roof. Um, I notice, and a lot of our customers now understand that the panels are making power before I can see the sun, albeit small amounts and little bits, but all those little bits add up, right? So I can see it, you know, right now, 5.30 in the morning, you know, my panels are active. And at nine o'clock at night, my panels are active. Now it's not setting the world on fire in that at that given time, but all those little bits of kilowatt hours add up throughout the day, week, month, and year, and lifetime of the system, um, and give me savings on my energy bills. Also provide uh, performance-based incentives that that we get as well. So all these kilowatt hours are are super important. Um, also, you know in it, in my house, um, we don't have shading situations, but we do have snow, right? We're here in New England, there's snow and there's, you know, partially covered panels and things like that. And my panels are still able to, to produce. My system's still producing, even though when there's some snow on my roof. Uh, Spencer, 
finally, we just want to ask you, you know, what, what does the future look like for Maxion Solar? Where, where do you see things going from here? We have, you know, since our inception, been focused on high efficiency, right? We've always been uh, the efficiency leader uh, in solar, and we continue to kind of push the boundaries there. So, um, you know, we have the most efficient market, uh, excuse me, modules in the market today, but uh, we are always developing our next generation technology. And uh, just about a month ago, we actually had NREL, so the National Renewable Energy Lab, certify a panel, uh, one of our next generation modules at 24.7% efficiency, which is a world record. Yeah, it's very exciting. So, you know, I'll, you'll see a lot of, if you, you know, if you go down this rabbit hole when you're uh, researching solar, you will see a lot of uh, world record claims in terms of efficiency. Um, most of them, particularly if it's next generation technology, they're all going to be, you know, from labs, but many of them are cell efficiencies, right? And it's important to understand that cell efficiency and panel efficiency are a different thing. Uh, and no one has, you know, come very close to the 24.7% efficiency that we just posted with NREL. And that's what we expect to deliver with our next generation modules here in a couple of years. Uh, the other thing I should mention about the future is that uh, we are, we've announced that we're going to be building a U.S. factory. Um, there are some really nice incentives in the uh, uh, Inflation Reduction Act for domestic manufacturing that we want to take advantage of and we want to allow our customers to take advantage of. Uh, so we are still finalizing the details uh, of where the factory will be, capacity, all that kind of stuff. But uh, we are moving into domestic manufacturing as well.